Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for the Superior Spider-Man Annual, Issue 1. And uh, before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a little update. Of course I have Comic Uno Episode 23, which is a show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And uh, before I start talking about that, actually, um, I do have Episode 25 coming up. I want to do something special, so I was thinking maybe doing a video, like a poll video of a comic I usually don't get that I'll add in Episode 25. But if you have any other ideas, please tell me in the comments below, and uh, hopefully we get something good for Episode 25. Uh, and here are the exclusive comics for Episode 23. Um, got Scooby-Doo Team Up, Issue 1. Um, X-Men, Issue 7. We have Batman and Two-Face, Issue 25. Daredevil, Issue 33. Green Lantern, New Guardians, Issue 25. And Animal Man, Issue 25. So if you want to go check out those reviews, go check out Comic Good Episode 23. Uh, but let's talk about Superior Spider-Man Annual, Issue 1. I'm surprised this first annual that came out for this series. Um, cool cover, really like the cover. Um, I was like, where are we gonna, what are we gonna get with the annual? Are we gonna get something explosive, or is it gonna be a one-shot, or is it gonna be many stories? Uh, cause that's what Marvel does. They do a lot of different annuals. So, uh, I was semi-excited for this, see what happens. Uh, Dan Slott was actually not writing this. It's, uh, I think it's Christopher Gage who's writing it. Um, so I was like, alright, let's see a new perspective of Superior Spider-Man. So, uh, let's see if I enjoyed this issue. Uh, so in this issue we get to see... Um, this villain called Blackout, um, who I've never really seen that much of. Um, but yeah, this villain Blackout, he steals Aunt May, and, uh, Peter, you know, Dr. Octopus has to save Aunt May. And throughout the whole issue, we get to see him being that caring nephew, try to save, um, save Aunt May in a Dr. Octopus type way, or a Superior Spider-Man type way. And that's what happens. He actually saves Aunt May, again, in a way that Peter Parker wouldn't be able to save her. You know, one of the points of Superior Spider-Man. Uh, and he also now has a name on the street. He says, you know what? I could hurt you. I could kill you. And if anyone harms Peter Parker or his family, uh, you're going to die. And now everyone's very scared of Peter Parker. So uh, that's obviously a good thing for him. And we get a little page of Green Goblin. Um, same things we've been getting, though. Uh, just a hint of Goblin Nation. Um, honestly, I thought this was a very solid issue, and I really enjoy the writing here. Um, you know, it's a superior Spider-Man still, you're like, oh, you're a jerk, you know, you still feel that superiorness. Uh, but it's not so obnoxious that I actually enjoyed it. You saw some hints of Peter here, uh, or, you know, Peter-ness, but still it's superior. And I really enjoyed that because I'm not a big fan of the obnoxious superior. And me, that's one of the reasons I'm not totally enjoying Superior Spider-Man, uh, or just Dr. Octopus as Spider-Man, because I, I can't say I'm not totally enjoying Superior Spider-Man. Uh, but I just like the way they tackled uh, his character in this issue. You know, showing that he cares about Aunt May, but still doing this superior route. Uh, and I think, again, that's something we enjoy about Superior, is that how does Dr. Octopus get out of all these things where Peter wouldn't be able to? And he totally gets out of it, and he makes it, this this whole event, his own. And uh, he takes it to his advantage, and he's like, you know what, this will be an opportunity to say, stay away, away from Peter Parker. And that's exactly what the thugs are doing now. Um... So even though it's a little bit of a lengthy story, um, I thought it went really quick actually, and it is a, a dollar extra than normal, but I had a lot of fun with this one. And uh, getting to see Aunt May a little, because we haven't seen Aunt May and Jay in uh, the series that much, uh, I recommend it, because it is a fun Aunt May story, and it, it feels that Superior is more in character in this issue than he is in the regular Superior, or at least the character I want to see more, the superiorness, but not the annoyingness, because there's a very thin line with that. And also really enjoyed the art, um, I had a fun time with the art, it was really, um, simple, but I love the colors, and, uh, the darkness, but also having these random bright colors, which I thought really worked, uh, so the art was really good, and... I enjoyed it, so definitely pick this one up. I give it four stars, and uh, if you like Aunt May and Jay, and if you want a, like a, a, a simpler uh, Superior Spider-Man story and less obnoxious, I think you'll enjoy this one as much as I did. Uh, so I give that four stars. It's not needed to read, but I had a fun time with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno, and guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and Rant Situations, and don't forget, to don't forget to like my Facebook page, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.